All right, here with the head basketball coach of the Maury Commodores, Brandon Plummer, his team wins at 74 to 61 over the defending state champion. Verona Blue Devils now one win away from the school's first state title since 1927. Coach, uh, how does it feel after what happened last year postseason? You're going to the Siegel Center, one more game to go to get the state championship. Man, it just feels so great, man. You just, you know, take these kids and grow into men. And I'm watching these guys really grow into men. I'm just, you know, I just feel so good because they listening to me and they believe in what I'm saying and what my coaching staff is saying. Man. So I'm just right now, just. My adrenaline is full right now, you know, but I'm just really proud of these guys, man, because I know they really believe in that they can accomplish their sure. ultimate goal. A lot of parallels we can draw back to from your 2006 Booker T team that won it when you were a player, and we'll do that probably Wednesday and beyond. But start of this game, 13-12 uh, first quarter lead, but even though you were only up one, it felt like more. How much did the team and the whole group feed off of the crowd and the energy they brought tonight? They, they, feed, it off, they feed off each other a lot. And, you know, I think, you know, in the beginning, you know, my guys, you know, they was probably, I can say intimidated, but, you know, I was more so worried about their focus, okay. you know, but once that first quarter, you know what I mean, was over, I, you know, they really settled in and I said, oh, we got, we got something going tonight. And, you know, our whole thing coming into this game was just, really just to test them, you know, I mean, y'all defending state champs, we know y'all have been here before, but we're going to see if y'all really played against something that's aggressive as us. Yeah, and I think that the atmospheres you've been in the Eastern District having those those three, four year starters, I should say, and Chase Coleman, Brian Phillips, Matthew Menzi helped. How much did you kind of lean on their experience in the guard in the backcourt and also your speed to kind of set the tone? Oh, I, I depended on that a whole lot. And we knew with those guys, they didn't, we know they really didn't like too much pressure and they don't like to play fast. You know, they really don't like to play fast, so we just try to control the tempo. You know, they kind of, you know, stuck stuck with us. You know, they stuck, they went back and forth, but we knew, like we said, we just gonna keep coming at you and keep coming at you and see if you wanna break. Yeah, four guys in double figures for you again, which is the norm with Coleman, Phillips, Menzia, and Clarence Trooper. And what about Matthew Menzia? We know he has the best first name in the state. 19 points, though, 14 rebounds, hit the four threes for you. I mean, he was feeling it tonight, wasn't he? Yeah, he was feeling it. He was ready. He'd been ready since the other day when we first started watching film on those guys, man. And, you know, I always tell him, be a beast, man. Be a beast, beast mode. You know, be that lion out there. You know, and he came out today, he, he accepted that challenge. From the kid number five, you know, there was a lot of talking going around, you know, saying and number five, you know, he can't do nothing with him and stuff like that. So he, he accepted that challenge and he went out. Yeah, the defending state player here and Tyrese Jenkins, he really showed up against him today. Um, we spoke the last couple weeks about free throws. And I know as the game's getting a little bit dicey there on a stretch, one point though in the fourth quarter, the final stats will say 21 of 32, you were 17 26 in the fourth quarter, but you made 10 in a row. How pleasing as a coach was you to see something that you've been harping on come through? Yeah, that felt great. That felt great, you know, because, you know, I keep stressing free throws, free throws, free throws. And it's like, it bothers you as a coach when you know you're in practice and you shoot free throws like 20 to 30 minutes in your practice and the guys come out here don't make them. But, I mean, they, 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 they keep believing in themselves when they step to that line to have confidence. So tonight it really helped us out a whole lot. Sure. Last year, thank you for your time. Um, we know it got a little dicey there with two minutes to go, but you brought your kids back. They didn't show any signs of, you know, losing their focus there. But I felt like as the second half began, your strategy had to be let's dig into their bench because they really only play six guys, right? Yes, yes. And we knew that, man. And I'm saying, I mean, Playing six against us may be tough. You know, the way we're pressuring, pressuring the ball, the way we're pushing the ball at you. We told, I mean, I told my guy, they got to go to their bench, seven or eight guys, they in trouble, you know. And I, you know, I heard, you know, through some coaches that, you know, that's pretty much how it is. You know, I mean, he got six great guys now. You know, there's some good guys, but, you know, my guys, like I said, set the challenge and we just gonna, we just gonna play him. We get you in foul trouble and hey, Keep rolling. Yeah, in some ways, I think you wore out Bird and Green Run to the previous two rounds. So we've seen that late in games, people get tired against you. Lastly, you're going to the state championship. It'll be the Potomac Falls or Freedom South riding as we talk right now. Not a whole lot known about either squad. Um, what's kind of the message as you're now one game away from making history? Yeah, we're just going to stay laser focused until that clock says zero, zero, zero. I mean, we're going to find out who we play. Hopefully, I can, you know, get some information on them, you know, and be able to, you know, pick some things apart. We're coming with our same aggressive defense, man. And we just want to close it up. Commodore's less than 48 hours away from going for that state championship. We'll see you then, Coach. All right. Congrats. Thanks.